Technology and internet stocks are at the forefront of a wave of selling this week. As we've been telling you about, investors are worrying about many things, including higher interest rates. The Nasdaq down more than 90 points yesterday, down 316 points Wednesday. Up this morning looking at futures, so uh, up 90 points. Let's bring in um, the owner of Stock Swoosh, Mosa Armo, to talk about what's going on with big tech primarily. And I say that because, Melissa, as we look at these huge names in technology, Netflix, Amazon, and Google, they're in correction mode. Good buying opportunity? Nope, I wouldn't buy the dip in any of these stocks right now. I wouldn't even buy the dip in the market. What you really want to wait for is the market to recover from the sell-off. Remember, we've had a lot of weakness in the last week, and we did just make new highs, as Tracy said, in the Dow within the last two weeks. So we've sold off hard and fast. This morning is very important for the market because the big banks report. Now, if the market opens significantly higher this morning, and I would say 26,000 on the Dow, which could happen if J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo City, if they all gap up this morning big time on earnings before the market opens, that could lift all the market sectors, the S&P, the Dow, everything, and including tech. Then you would see about maybe buying in, but I wouldn't jump in necessarily, and it particularly if the banks do not report well this morning, you might even see more selling today, which would really be bad. So we don't know. The earnings haven't reported yet for these banks, but they're coming out soon. You are so good at explaining things, Melissa. Can you explain to our viewer how higher interest rates affect technology names? Well, as far as any, any company goes, not just technology, but any company, when companies go to borrow money, then they're paying more when rates are high. So that's part of the reason why Trump has been poo-pooing the, uh, the Fed, because they're raising rates, he thinks, maybe too aggressively. But we don't really know what's going to happen between now and December. So maybe the Fed's going to back off a little bit because we've had this sell-off in the last week. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, they're not supposed to respond to the market too much. We'll see, as you noted. Netflix reports on Tuesday. That is a big stock. I know you follow it. What do you uh, anticipate for Netflix's earnings? I don't know when Netflix is going to report, but I know Netflix is one of the strongest stocks in that sector, one of the strongest stocks in the market. But if you look from the previous highs, it was over 420, and it's almost dropped 100 points since this sell-off. So I can definitely say for one thing, if Netflix does gap up and report well, a lot of buying is going to come back into the stock because of the drop-off it had. But then again, you don't buy something that's showing weakness. So Netflix could break 300 on the earnings, and then it could sell off hard and fast. In an ideal world, this is what you'd really want to look for today. Today is a critical day in the market, not just because we had the big sell-off, but because these banks come out of report. And also Monday morning, before Netflix, you have two more banks. You have BAC and Charles Schwab. They're coming out Monday morning. So I'm looking to the financials right. to lift this market. And in, in turn, if they do, it's going to lift tech. It doesn't mean that every tech uh, name that comes out of reports in the next month is going to do well. They may not all do well. Google, Amazon, Apple, okay. they're not out until the end of October, beginning of November. Netflix is one of the first ones to report, but I really don't know what they do, but I will tell you more buying could come in, particularly if a stock gets anywhere near that $400 level, which is far away from yeah. right now. Yeah, so, all right, so we're waiting on the financials, and then we have some of these huge names in technology reporting, and then a few days later, we have the midterm election. So many investors are sitting right now saying, what do we do? And for a lot of them, they don't do anything. Melissa Armo, have a great weekend. Thank you, you too. Yeah, Netflix is out Tuesday, and all of the banks in the pre-market right now,